Okay, so everybody, you have to guess where we are. Haven't done a video for you guys at St. James for a little while. You're going to see shortly where we are. There's the car. Death Valley. Yes. I'm so excited we're here. And I'm going to do a cooking class right from here at Death Valley. I'm really kidding, guys. It's like 115 degrees. I'm by myself. That's why the video might not look perfect. I'll move over a little bit. But I just want to let you know I'm going to be doing a really great Italian pasta sauce, and you can use it for fish, uh, for fish and meat and all that other stuff. Tomato based. I'm gonna. It'll follow this short little video from Death Valley. It's Sunday the 26th. I'm missing mass now. I'm so sorry, Reverend Cindy, but I promise I will watch it tonight. I'm here by myself. It's a wonderful, wonderful morning. Looking forward to getting back to Balboa Island and uh, cooking for you guys. So hope to see you soon. Now that was a quick move from Death Valley. Back on Balboa Island. Hello, St. James. What a great trip. Just a 24-hour trip to Death Valley yesterday. Uh, partial Saturday. It was amazing. 115 or so degrees, but wonderful. Back on Little Balboa. Looking forward to doing this short cooking class for you guys at St. James. And um, wonderful parishioners. So I miss everybody so much. I can't wait till we get back. Today we're just going to do a simple tomato-based sauce which is good for pastas, it's good for fish, it's good for chicken, it's good for just about anything. Chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan. So what I'm going to do first is um, a couple things. I'm going, to sh I'm going to just shred a carrot first. So I cut the carrot, okay, simply, and then I'm just going to shred it, okay? So I'm going to just use a, use a nice microplaner like that. We'll shred it and um, get it going. Um, just, you know, do one carrot, it's good. And um, that should be enough. It just what the carrot does is adds sweetness, which I think is really essential in this sauce. This um, tomatoes that I'm the tomatoes that I'm using are unbelievable, and I'll go over that and where you can buy them. We'll eat that too. Wow, that looks so good. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'll get this going. I'm going to start the stove, but. Um, a little bit of olive oil first, wherever we can find it. Extra virgin, right here. Nice. We're gonna get the carrots going right away. Carrots, onion, same time, it's fine. We're gonna do one onion. I'm not gonna bore you with me cutting the whole thing, so I'll cut this short a little bit, but I'll show you a couple little tricks on onions. Cut the edges off, cut it in half like that. Peel it like this. I'm going to show you one little part of it, okay? Take all the outside off like this. We're going to score it on the bottom like this. Just be careful with your fingers, okay? We're doing a small dice here, keeping it together. Then we're going to cut it like this, not going all the way to the end. Really simple, okay? This is a simple dice. Just take your time and then watch this. How beautiful. Just nice, everything comes out just perfect. Now the onions are cut, you can see they're diced. That's one onion, it's a lot of onion. It's gonna be great though, it'll cook down nice. We'll throw that in. It's already sauteing beautifully the carrots. We'll move that around, wash off just a little bit here. Stir this up really good. We're gonna season as we go which you know I talk about all the time, how important that is, just to layer the seasoning in, okay? A little bit more extra virgin olive oil here, okay? Nice pinch of salt, some freshly ground black pepper. Man, oh man, this smells good. I'm also gonna throw in some garlic, about, about two tablespoons of crushed garlic, you can use you know, uh, regular garlic, about four or five cloves. This is equivalent to about four or five cloves of garlic. I'll throw this in right now. No shortage of garlic, we love garlic. Mix that in good. Again, we're gonna layer the spices and seasoning, which are really just threefold. They're just um, onions, um, I'm sorry, on the spicy side, we're gonna use salt, pepper, 
And uh, pretty much that's it. We're going to throw in some Italian seasoning, but not yet. I want to let this cook down just a little bit here more. I got it on high heat. We'll let that cook. Okay, so I want you to see that, what it looks like. That's just onions, carrots, and garlic, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some Italian seasoning, okay? So I got about uh, roughly two teaspoons full of Italian seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of my secret ingredient, just a little bit of sugar, maybe about a teaspoon and a half. Stir that around really good. I just want you to see this so you can see the consistency. It gets very, very dry, okay? Very, very dry. Just for a bit. Let that do its thing for about, a, about maybe another minute. Okay, so now that I put a little bit of sugar in there, I'm going to add some white wine. Just be careful so it doesn't flame up. You know, maybe like um, about a half a cup, roughly. I use this wonderful Trader Joe's box white wine. It works out to be about $2 a bottle. It's wonderful for cooking. This is just a crisp white, easy. Then you're just going to let that um, simmer down for another couple of minutes. And then at that point, the only ingredient left to add really is the tomato sauce, which uh, I'll add in a little bit and then I'll, do, um, then I'll do some basil. Okay, so I dried out the wine. It's just about dry. So I have the onions, garlic, carrots in there, the Italian seasoning, white wine, a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar. Now I'm going to take this whole thing of tomatoes and carefully pour it in here. Okay, so I don't make too much of a mess. Okay, this can runs about $4 at Restaurant Depot, just so you know. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm just going to mix that around. I'll show you in a little bit. We'll get a little more close up. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a nice little sachet of basil in. So I, this is fresh basil I got today. I wish we got it from the garden here, right, at St. James, but I'm just gonna clip it real quick here and throw the whole, I'll just clip this whole thing right here. That's it, just like that. Okay, no prisoners here, you just tie it up. That's it, just tie it nice. And um, this way we'll take it out. We don't need to leave it in there. We'll just take it out when we're done. I just used some string, butcher's cord, twine, just like that, you see it like that's going in. The whole thing's going in, and that's it. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of a close-up now before we finish up. Okay, so there we are. So that's the sauce, okay, in there with the basil and the cord. So I'm going to drop the whole thing in, okay, and then the basil will just flavor the sauce very nicely, and you'll leave that in. I'll probably leave this in for about, I'm going to say about, just about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna just hit the timer for 30 minutes here. And then um, really at that point, your sauce is gonna be done. Okay, so the last thing I have to do is test this sauce. It's been cooking about 35 minutes. I still have the basil in there. I'm gonna try it now. It's pretty close to being done. Oh my God, this is so good. You know, my father used to take like a day to cook sauce and it was fabulous but i gotta tell you this basic tomato sauce done in 30 to 45 minutes at the most if you use the right tomatoes it's a it's, it's a winner so i look forward to any questions you might have just feel free to give me a call and i'm happy to walk you through this okay until next time see ya